is a tiny insect that is causing a lot of crepe myrtle trees in our area to look sick. Yeah, and people who have them in their yards are scrambling now to find out exactly what they can do. Erica Gonzalez joining us now with some tips from an expert. Erica. Hi, guys. Well, we went straight to the garden pros at American Plant who tell me that they have had lots of people showing up and asking for help. The short of it is, no, your tree is not dead, and yes, you can save it. It's an invasive pest from Asia that was introduced uh, and it was found in Texas was the first time it was found. And it's basically slowly moved out of that area. The scale is actually a little tiny insect that lives under a piece of armor. Um, and as they feed, they secrete what's called honeydew. And as, as, as that drips onto either the bark or the foliage, that's what the black sooty mold is that we see. That mold isn't necessarily going to kill the tree, uh, especially when it's on the bark. Uh, but if it is on leaves, it does prevent those leaves from photosynthesizing. So if there's a lot of this insect on the tree, it can slow the growth down and also prevent as many blooms from occurring throughout the season. So once you see them, uh, then you can start to think about what you can do to control and help prevent them from getting in high numbers. The easiest thing that we recommend to do is a stiff bristle brush and one tablespoon of soap and a quart of water and get out and literally scrub the insect. Um, so the other thing we recommend is horticultural oil, uh, which is sold at garden centers uh, throughout our area. Uh, it's a nice, safe product. The actual insect will live mostly pretty much just on the bark of the tree. Um, but in heavily infested trees, what can be done is you can basically trim off those branches that are infested. You want to either burn or dispose of the, the waste. You don't want to put it in your compost bin and you don't want to put it out for leaf or litter pickup in your municipality or county. Our thanks to Colin Kuhn from American Plant with those tips. Another thing to keep in mind, of course, is your safety. So if you're trying to reach limbs that are just too high for your comfort, be safe and call in a tree expert. Mm. But if you've got a weekend, you got a little elbow grease, mm -hmm. and if you catch it early enough, it really boils down to a bucket of soapy water. And just scrub off the bugs. Just scrub. Okay. It's literally, right, it's not necessarily a mold or a fungus. It's a bunch of those little bugs lined up and scrub, scrub, oh, scrub. Oh. Yeah. I'm, I don't Have like bugs. I've got, I've got, I've got three. Three. Them in my yard, so I know exactly what I'm uh, doing. First, okay. I gotta check to see if we've got them. Yeah, exactly. So that's good. If you if you have crepe myrtles and uh, you don't think that you have it now, just be on the lookout for it because there's still plenty of time for that to happen. So yeah. just be have your antennas up, be on the lookout for it. Some so. nasty looking stuff. I know, not the most pleasant things. Looks like tree eczema. <laughs>